Hello everyone, Jake here. Today we're gonna unbox a seven gallon glass vac uh, vacuum chamber for stabilizing. I'm gonna show you why this is okay for vacuum stabilizing. And I'm gonna show you another vacuum chamber that's not good for vacuum stabilizing. First thing I'm gonna do is unbox this. Let's do it. First thing we have that's going to be noticeable other than a different style of vacuum chamber is a thick glass lid. And then this um, gauge here set is going to be on the side and not through the top. Those are plastic lids. It also comes with a silicone mat. Let's put it in there. And then a hose to hook this up to your vacuum pump. And that just goes in there, just screws right on right there. They've pretty much got all this stuff figured out and a filter that goes right here and we'll get that stuff tightened up this gasket on here is reversible so you can use either side of it and it just goes on there like that once again this is from best best value vacs i'll have links to these down below i have a five gallon one but this one will do way uh, bigger pieces of wood so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the difference between this one and one that's for uh, things other than stabilizer. When you look these up on Amazon, they're going to say um, this was even that some of these even say that they're not for wood stabilizing. But if it has a glass lid, it is for for cactus juice and things like these. These ones, some of these will say they're for <laughs> wood stabilizing. If it has if it has a plastic lid, it is not for wood stabilizing. So this, the first thing I notice when I'm looking online is where the gauge is at. This gauge is through the side of the container like this, and this one is through the plastic. That's a, a telltale sign that that's gonna be the wrong one for stabilizing. This for doing resin or uh, degas of silicone, that's what I use this one for is degas of silicone. It works fine, it's not gonna have any problems. It's a pretty, it's a lot cheaper than this one. You're gonna have this under vacuum for quite a while and the cactus juice, I don't know if the cactus juice does it or the amount of time that you have it under vacuum, but this will crack and leak and then you're gonna be like, it is, my stuff's ruined. But these say glass vac, these are best value vacs and they say glass vac on them and I'll have links to these below. And I have a couple other questions that I like to answer before we wrap this video up. I put out a wood stabilizing video on this whole process probably a couple years ago, and I'll put a link up there and a link below. Uh, one of the questions was, when you are getting the bubbles out of here, when you come to full vacuum, can you just shut this off and turn the pump off? It clearly states on here to leave the vacuum pump on until the bubbles stop. Now, that one that I did in that video, I don't know if it was the piece of wood or the last formulation of cactus juice, but it took forever. It took hours and hours and hours for it to stop bubbling. I haven't had to do that since then. So this new formulation, or I've gotten wood that was less punky or whatever, but it's, it's done it a lot faster. So you don't have to worry about having your pump on for hours and hours and hours, um, unless of course you get that kind of wood or whatever. I've also got a lot of questions on how long my pump has lasted. Uh, I knew from the beginning, I forgot to mention on that video, but I was told if you have a long run or after each cycle, go ahead and change the oil in your pump. I'm running the same pump that I did in that video. And it, it seems to be just as good or whatever. I consider myself lucky to have been good that long, but I do change the oil all the time in it. Um, the oil's cheap, so go ahead and change the oil in your pumps to make it last longer. One of the things I get asked is how do you hold the wood down underneath the cactus juice? And in that five gallon, I'm gonna have to figure something out for this one. But in the five gallon uh, vacuum chamber, I have a lid to a bucket. I cut holes in it, I put it on top of it, and I put weight on it. And it does, it does just fine. You don't need anything fancy, you just need to, to hold it down there. But that's how I do it, is uh, cut, cut some holes in a lid and then hold it down. So th there's the question of do you cut the wood up and then stabilize it? Or do you leave it as big as you can, stabilize it, and then get the pieces you want out of it. I've kind of come to the conclusion, you can see this smaller one back here, you can put smaller pieces in. I don't use this a lot because, say this thing right here, we cut out the bigger pieces, we stabilize the whole thing, 
cut out the bigger pieces, and then you're gonna get scraps off of it. So now at the end of this process, you're gonna have the excess cactus juice is gonna seep out and become hard and you have to sand it off. Well, I'd rather sand it off of one big piece of wood rather than 50 small pieces of wood. So now after you get these shapes out of the wood, now we make blanks on the show we do every Saturday. We make these blanks full of the scrap that we get off of that. And we give them away to people and stuff. And then you end up with things like this that are full of scrap. It's super cool, but there, we don't have to clean these after we clean the first one. So once we, we clean the first big pieces that we, we stabilize, and then whatever scraps we get, we can just put them back in the oven, put them in there, and then pour them. So we don't have any more cleaning to do, and that's why I want the bigger ones. Now, if, you're, if that's all you can get a hold of is the smaller pieces, this will do just fine. I think that's about all I have for this video. Appreciate you guys. Once again, go check out the links below to the glass vax and the videos. I have a video on the pine cones stabilizing also. So come check us out on the show where we make these things and give them away. We'll see y'all next time and y'all be good.